But our gospel message comes to us from Mark's gospel this day. And I'm going to invite some people to help out with the reading today. I have the members of the parish project group, so I'm going to invite Miranda and Christopher and Shirley and Elizabeth and Emma to come forward. And they're going to help us tell and hear the story of John the Baptist this morning. John appeared in the open land, far outside the cities and towns of Judea. He encouraged the people to change the way that they treated one another, so that they could be kind and fair to each other, and would love and honor God. To show this change in them, he would baptize them with water. People from everywhere around, men and women from the countryside and city, ready to be right with God, came to be baptized by John in the water of the Jordan River. Now, John wore clothes that set him apart from others around him. He wore a scratchy camel hair tunic and belt of leather. He ate food other people usually didn't eat, locusts and wild honey. Fitting in didn't matter to John. But, John also had some important news to deliver. And John announced, Someone's coming, coming soon. And as much as I honor and love God and try to be good, if I'm not even good enough to bend down and unlace his sandals, I am here to get you ready. In those days, Jesus left home and came to Jordan River, where John baptized him, just like everyone else. As Jesus came up out of the water, he opened his eyes very wide and blinked away the water running down his face. As his eyes cleared, Jesus saw something. He wasn't sure if the others saw it too. He saw the clouds part, and a dove came down and landed on his shoulder. Deep down and all around, Jesus heard a gentle voice say, You are my beloved. And you please me greatly. Jesus looked around. Did the other people hear that voice too? He did not know, but he did know he had a lot of thinking to do, and he needed time with God to think deeply about what all this meant and what God might be calling him to do. Amen. Thank you very much. 